Hi, it's me, Ellen. I just wanted to show you some of the customizer options we offer currently in our latest WordPress themes, Pokiko. Of course, we're gonna upgrade the theme um, all the time and add new features, but I just wanna run you through the current customizer settings and options we created for the theme, so you have an overview what you can currently do with our latest WordPress theme. As you can see, I'm now in the customizer in my Pokeko theme and I have my featured header image and um, the featured title texts here um, active. And then I just follow up with the default block layout, including the sidebar and a sticky post. So this post is designed um, as a featured post if you mark one as sticky post and then a two column block layout. And um, now I will show you the options you currently have uh, with Pokeko in the customizer. And of course, since um, this is uh, just version 1.0.3 of Pokeko, we will add um, multiple features with new releases and we're working on new features um, at the moment, of course, too. So um, this is just the first version and I will keep you updated and do follow up videos um, if we add new options to this customizer settings. Just to give you a quick overview, um, here in the main um, menu, in the customizer menu, uh, first you have the theme options that I will show you in a moment, then the default options that come with most uh, WordPress themes, the site identity, here can, you can upload your logo and decide if you want to show the title or the tagline and you can upload your favicon site icon. And then you have the header media uh, in the main panel. Here you can choose to upload your featured image, the one you see here um, that we used. Or you can also choose a background video. You can add the video here as well. So this is the header media option, um, which can be shown as you see here on the blog front page or on a static page, of course, as well. Uh, just as you choose here in your homepage settings. Uh, but first you have the menus and the widgets, um, just as standard WordPress scenes have. And here, if you choose a static page, of course, you can still see your header media, um, like the featured image or background video, and you have additional CSS. So now to the theme options that are specific to the Pokeko theme, we added another option panel, but we wanted to keep it um, as clean and simple as possible. So we will only add options that are really um, make sense to the theme design and um, changes we really will need. We don't add like tons of um, options nobody really understands or can understand and nobody really needs to um, customize the design. So um, as an overview, we here have some general styles, general colors you can change, uh, every customization you can do with the header, uh, the featured header, content, changes for the footer and for your blog. So the general styles at the moment is only customization of the button styles. You can choose between round, as you see it now, sharp edges or rounded edges. And this will affect automatically all buttons of the theme, uh, which is very nice and easy to customize and gives you a stable design. Then the color in the moment, at the moment it's uh, very clean and simple. It's only the link color you can change, but of course we will add additional features. But we always um, look out that the customizations stay as simple and easy to understand and easy to set up as possible. So at the moment it's still very clean looking. Then for the header as well, at the moment you can only hide the default header search, but we will add additional features, especially here for your uh, menu bar, so you can customize the position of the logo and the menu and so on. This will come with further updates and will be added here. Then the featured header, um, I already um, added the content here just as a te uh, test to show you. So you have a subtitle, a title, some additional text, and of course you don't need to use all of them. You can just use um, as maybe only the title. Then you have a featured button here that you can 
uh, add some text and a link and then you can choose to show the content left aligned as it, it is right now or centered and you can choose your text color, the overlay color and the opacity. By default it's just 0% so you don't see the overlay but now as I have a very light background image I don't see my text so I will change it to a dark color. So now I can ch change it again. Maybe if I align it left it will look a more a little bit better with the bright color here, the dot I have. So um, these are the customizations for the featured header. Then I have customizations for the footer. Um, I scroll down. At the moment it's a dark color and light text. So I can change this if I just want to have a very light gray or even a white footer background. Of course I don't see the text anymore so I change this to the dark footer text. And I can even choose a white background if I want to have a very clean and white look. Then this uh, border will appear automatically. And here at the bottom I can customize the footer credit text. Of course too if I want to have my own credit text at the very bottom. And I can publish my changes. So these are the footer options and then the block options um, I have. Um, here at the moment I show the sticky post and a two column block and the sidebar. So first I show you the options for the sidebar. I can only um, show them on the, the sidebar on the block front page, on single posts only or on both options. And if I in the widget option block sidebar, if I don't include any widgets, uh, the sidebar won't show up automatically, which is um, very easy to do as well. So for now I show to I choose to show the sidebar on the posts only, so I get a little bit of a wider layout for my blog front page. And now I can choose maybe to at the three column layout um, since I have a little bit um, wider post area and this will look nice too. You can play around with the options you have and then um, for all the other options they are to show or disable any content of the blog. So if I click on one of the single posts I have um, here at the bottom by default I have and this is a very long post. I have the post author uh, box and I can um, disable this, the author bio, if I don't want to show this. Maybe if I only have um, one author and I don't want to show it at the bottom of every post. And then the further options are to uh, hide categories, the post date, comments count, tags, the author's name and the related posts. And also um, if I don't want to display the featured posts on single, um, single posts I can also disable this here. So these are all the block options and of course we will add further options as we develop Pukeko further but I just wanted to give you a current overview and if you have any questions or issues with the options just let me know. I will also include a link to our support forum for the themes. If you have any questions you can always ask us over there and um, I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below also to this video and I hope this video was helpful and is giving you a little overview of the current theme options in Pokeko so you can set up your theme easily and make the changes you want to make and thanks for watching. Bye!